What is up guys, Technicals here, bringing you a configuration video today. I bought five Vega 56s last week in hopes of setting up a kryptonite mining rig. I knew that Vegas were notoriously difficult and complex to set up, but I had no idea. I took one look at this guide here and uh, almost considered selling the Vegas because it's just so complex, you have to run Windows, it's a pain. Until I found this guide, which I'll link below in the description, on how to set up. I was hashing in under 30 minutes, and you're gonna be hashing in th under 30 minutes too. This video is going to be short to the point. Let's get into it. All right, if you're trying to set up a Vega rig, no doubt you've been on this website before. It's a long guide on how to set up a Vega mining rig for kryptonite. It's not simple. I want simple. I want fast. Follow this guide. Let's get into it. Let's get the no-brainer stuff out of the way. Create a media installation disk for Windows and install it on a fresh hard drive. Fresh copy. Step two, put your rig together, but only put one Vega card in the top slot. Step three, follow the link in the description below to download the 1821 Adrenaline drivers for AMD cards. Install. Now, before you go installing all your other Vegas, make sure one works first. Step four, head over to Gandalf 3000 and download Cast XMR. Open your AMD Radeon settings. Go to Gaming. Go to Global Settings. Global Wattman Settings. Move the slider to Custom. Scroll down. Change your memory speed to 900 megahertz. Scroll down to fans. Change your minimum to 1200 and your target to 2500. Save the profile so you can apply it to other Vegas in the future. Open Cast XMR's directory. Create a run.bat file. Create it by right clicking and choosing to create a new text document. Call it run.bat. Be sure that you don't have hide file extensions enabled. If you do, disable it. Verify that the run.bat file doesn't have .txt on the end. If it does, remove it. It'll ask you if you're sure, say yes. Right click and edit the run.bat file. Your configuration string should look something like this. Algorithm one, that's for Kryptonite V7. Enter your pool's address. Under you, enter your address. If you're mining to an exchange, the syntax would have a period and the payment ID at the end, followed by another period and your rig's worker name. See description below for an example string for cast XMR. Feel free to mine to my address. Important, you must add the G function at the end of the string. You do that by hitting dash G and then the numbers corresponding to the GPUs that you're gonna use to mine. If you only have one connected, it's zero. If you have other GPUs, separate them with a comma. Also important, do not have a comma after the last number. Save the file. Another important note, you need to have your virtual memory cranked up really high for Vega rigs. Go to start, settings, type in performance, adjust the appearance and performance, advanced, under virtual memory, click change, uncheck, custom size, 64,000, 64,000, click set, click OK, go back to cast XMR. Once you've verified your virtual memory is intact and you've restarted, go ahead and run your run.bat file. I run mine, and as you can see, three GPUs are currently hashing in the 1780 to 1900 range. That's basically it. Under 30 minutes, it took me to do this method from start to finish. I'm getting 1800 to 1900 hashes per second out of these Vegas, and it's stable, as is verified on the pool's website. I'll show a screenshot right here of the past 16 hours. Can you get higher hash rates? Absolutely. You can get up close to 2000 or maybe even a little more. However, it's going to take a long set of configuration, and then you, you run the risk of stability issues there. For me personally, I'd rather put in the adrenaline drivers, I'd rather use Cast XMR, and I'd rather get hash. I don't have all day to sit and tinker with it and change settings and restart things. I have a lot of GPUs to manage, so I'd rather put this in and get it going. Another note, this does nothing to the power. I have one Wattman set right now on two of the Vegas that are running off a of server PSU. Currently showing about 470 watts being pulled from the wall. That's just two Vegas. Nothing else is plugged into that power supply. So you're going to want to make sure that you have plenty of capacity wherever you're running it. I'm not going to speak to power on this episode because I honestly, I have haven't read into it much more than getting this thing set up. I've been tinkering with it forever and I'm just glad to be hashing. So I'm going to plug in the other two Vegas once I get some capacity and then we're going to hash at full. You should be able to get this going in under 30 minutes. Ideally, it's going to save you a ton of time and headaches. And now that Vegas are easy to set up, watch those Vega prices because they can't help but think that they're going to go up from here. I give away Ethereum on every single video. All you got to do is like, subscribe, and leave me an engaging, relevant comment below. Be sure to include your Ethereum address. See full details in the description 
description below. How'd you like to win a thousand dollar plus mining rig? Be pretty sweet, right? See description below for details, but once I hit 2,000 subs, I'm going to give it away. See this video at the end uh, for where we build the rig so you can see all the specifications and what to expect. All you have to do is share one of my videos somewhere on social media and leave me a link in your comment. That's it. I take it, enter it into a database, verify your eligibility, description below, and then we're going to send it out when we hit 2,000 subscribers. Let's take a look at today's Ethereum winner. All right, party time. Let's give away some Ethereum. Look through the comments here. Uh, going back into Stupid Rig Builds Episode 3, uh, Deus says, uh, do an underwater build should be a challenge. Uh, congratulations, Deus. You are the winner for this video. That's a great suggestion. Uh, we've thrown that idea around a little bit. And uh, actually, the rig in the bottle was uh, supposed to be a precursor to the underwater build. I was going to put the rig in the bottle, seal up the bottle, and then turn the bottle into a submarine. Um, obviously, that didn't work out. The bottle's kind of a piece of junk. I still would like to do it. I'm having trouble figuring out how to uh, get... Uh, power internet because Wi-Fi doesn't work through water and uh, yeah it's that's a pretty stupid rig build so we'll uh, we'll keep that in mind we'll watch that with great interest but it is something I absolutely want to do so we're gonna go ahead and send you your Ethereum for this if you want your Ethereum all you gotta do is like subscribe and leave me an engaging relevant comment full details in the description below and if you want to win a 1000 plus dollar mining rig just share one of my videos on social media leave me a link that's it there's no, there's no bamboozle. You don't have to double opt-in email. You don't have to give me your personal data. You don't have to do any of that stuff. Just share a video somewhere on social media and leave me a link to that bad boy. Full details, description below. So let's check out his Ethereum address, 2FB, 2FB, check, check, $10. Let's go ahead and send that out to him. Deus, thank you for engaging. I'm the Technicals. See you next time.